Hi what's going on, it's Weird here and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to avoid buying fakes on the Twill on a Rat by Supreme. It was pretty big this year, they did it in mustard, black, purple and the navy colourway. I don't know if a lot of people know about this, I just found out about it pretty recently but there's a website called Taboo. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, I'll put some text here now so you can see how it's wrote. And they've just started doing fakes on the Twill Anorak by Supreme. I've got a real one with me today and I'll run you through like a step by step on how to avoid buying the fakes and what areas to look out for. I also want to add, be very very careful before you buy one of these items because on the fakes they are pretty identical so make sure you watch this video beforehand and hopefully it'll help. If you need any more help after the video I've got an Instagram, it's weirdm7 and I'll put a link in the bottom. Yeah, let's get into this. So here's the jacket I'm showing you today. The Twill Anorak by Supreme in the mustard colourway. First off, if we go straight to the box logo, you can see on the real one, it fills the logo. There's hardly any space on the end where the S is. On the fakes, there's quite a bit of space. I'll put a picture here now so you can see the difference between them. Also, if you use a ruler or anything straight to go across the writing underneath, it should all be even on the fakes it's not. What we want to look at next is the drawstrings. Make sure that the drawstrings look exactly like this. The thickness and the loops on the end with the frays connected with the, well staying in place with the metal plates as shown at the top. If we look at the bottom ones too, they are also exactly the same with the metal plates also. What we want to look at next is the Supreme writing with the box logo. As you can see, the writing, there's hardly any space around the box logo, especially near the S, is all together. Filling the box logo and the size small tag should be underneath. Any size tag should be underneath. And the writing, if you put something straight underneath, it should all be flush together and I'll run straight. I'll put a fake underneath this so you can see the difference. If we look at the size tag, and this is a really big part to tell if it's real or not. As you can see on the real ones, if I do a close up, the Supreme is in bold and everything else is in normal text. On the fakes, the writing will be thicker all over and the box around 100% cotton, that will be thicker. I will put a picture next to this now so you can see the difference. Also, if we flip this tag over, you can see that it should have this there. Make sure that the stitching is yellow and it's on the seam, as we can see. Please be aware that the fakes do have both sides, so be very cautious and make sure you check this side thoroughly please. If we look at this tag that's on the back of the jacket, it's red on the mustards and it's also red on the purples and the navy and it's black on the black anorak. Make sure the writing fills the box logo and no spaces. If you turn the jacket inside out, underneath the zipper part near the top, it should be white here and it runs all the way up on both sides. I don't know if they've done this on the fakes or not, but hopefully this information will help. As you can see, I've turned the jacket inside out. This pocket on the inside 
should run all the way through and look like this and with the sleeves you can see there's still a bit on the inside so make sure it has that because this is on the real ones I'm not sure if it's on the fakes or not but it's a bit more information and hopefully this will help you please also make sure to check the colour I've noticed that on the fakes the colours are very much brighter on the fakes than they are on the real ones so I hope that information helps if this video helped at all please give it a big thumbs up it really helps subscribe for more videos I also want to say a big thank you to everybody that's subscribed to me so far I never thought I'd get this many so I truly do appreciate it so thank you very much and when I hit 400 subscribers I'll be putting a vlog up so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one